Hey everyone, this is Ruizman. It's good to have you here again. Uh, I wanted to show you a new mod that I recently found. Um, and I'm not sure how old it is, but it is really cool. And so, let me tell you a little bit about the backstory first. I was looking for a way to kind of color my the pieces of my house. And it's all a wood house. And I didn't want to do too much with stone or anything like that because of the thickness of it. And I didn't want to download another mod with extra pieces. And so I found this one here. It's called Colorful Pieces. And it's by Comfy Mods. And you can see that it has been updated, you know, two months ago. You can find it on the Thunder Store. And, um, yeah, there's 41 other mods depend on this mod. So it's probably pretty popular. It does need the Bep and X pack from Valheim. And then something else that's really good to have it on there, too, is to have the Configuration Manager within the Valheim. So sometimes you just kind of show you how you do it. Um, you can color any building piece that you can be built using the hammer. Uh, just the vanilla. Well, actually not the vanilla ones too. Everything that can be built using a hammer, um, using RGB or HTML color codes. And it's very simple. And the textures stay on the object. It just it gets a different color for the, the hue of the, I guess, the, the color part of it. And then those without the mod installed will see the default vanilla materials and textures on there too. So even if someone doesn't have it, it's not going to change anything up in theirs. Um, and it's just for looks only. It's just for something easy. And so one thing I noticed on here, and it tells you how to do it, which I really enjoy this part. You know, in game, press F1 to get the configuration manager, and then change your color, and then do the control or left shift, whatever you want to do with it. Um, I actually changed mine up to be uh, left shift C. And I replaced all the R's with C instead. C for color, but also R didn't really work for me. Um, I'm not sure why, but the, it never did uh, work on it. And then something else I'll show you here in a little bit too, is if you decide, oh, that doesn't look very good, then you can just go to the chat box by pressing enter, do this slash clear color, and then I usually do like a radius of 20 meters, and it clears everything out without having to destroy any pieces. Um, very simple mod, very easy to go through. It looks like it's been updated pretty often. So let's take a look at it and see what we got. So I press F1, and we're going to go to Colorful Pieces right here. And you can choose the color you want to have. So I already have kind of a white color on here. You can see where I've already changed um, my hotkeys for it as well. So what you do is you just mouse over, put that, the little crosshairs on what you want to color uh, or change the colors for. And there are, I will say, there are other pieces here besides just the vanilla pieces. For instance, the Sterling Core Torch. Um, other pieces in here too will be affected by it if you want to. And then of course you can always change what the color is. Let's say we want to change it to this wonderful blue color, which I probably won't keep on for very long. But you can also see that the texture doesn't change. It still has like the, the texture of the wall on that. And you can still see the wood exactly how it was before. So what this did is before I had this very drab, it still looks very drab on this, um, all wood brown colored house. And there's not much you can do about that if you don't change anything of the colors. And you know, you can always put like the, the dark wood kind of beams and stuff in there too as, as ornaments, but you know, I really wanted something that can change the actual color of the wall. And so when I do that, and of course, no, I'm not sure how you do these on here. But I do know if you change, if you click on the three lines, the hamburger, you can change this too. And if you like a certain color, if you want to go with dark brown or something like that, you can always look it up on the internet. And we're just going to go with black on this one and see what it does. See, even in the black, you can tell that it has the texture for it. And so if something happens where, like I did right here, and don't want to keep that right there, um, I just do the Alt on that one, and it comes back around. Now, one thing I want you to see as well is that you know, it's the entire piece that gets colored, not just the front of it. And so the blues that we had in the side over here, they're blue on the back side too. And as is the black on this side. 
But there are other pieces in here too that are not from the vanilla parts of it. Now, something I may consider is going through and, and doing like a very dark brown, maybe not black like this, but a very dark brown um, on these beams and the beams inside the house as well. And then, like I mentioned before, if you uh, mess up, you can always do the Alt and then the whatever key you have for it and it'll remove it. Or press Enter, slash, clear color, and we'll do 20. And it sounds like everything is getting destroyed, but it's not. It's just going back to the original previous color. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think and how you might be using this for your builds. And I'll be posting a video of you know, my finished product later on.